couple of those signature power moves to the net there in the third period. It's just a matter of keep keep at it till it pays off. Huh? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think just especially in the third period, I found myself with you know a little extra step on on some guys, and um, you know, I think you know we all played really well tonight, and those are fun games to play, and when, when you, you know they're kind of right down the road, and um, you know tight game all game, so it's a good game. It seemed like it was tight in the first two, and then the third it kind of opened up a little bit. What what's it like to change like the mindset a little bit for you guys uh, when it kind of shifts like that? Yeah, I think with the skill and speed they have over there, you have to kind of respect it and, and wait for offense to, to kind of jump out at you. But you know, I think in the third period we did a, we did a good job at not sitting back and kind of anticipating and, and jumping those plays. So um, it goes a long way, and um, you know, there's a lot of belief in this room. Ryan failing two goals tonight. I mean, what can you say about his game at this point? He's been great all year. I mean, obviously, when he gets those chances, he shows off his skill and his shot. But, um, you know, for him to, to get a couple tonight, I know it's big for the team and, and big for him personally. So um, it's great to see and uh, both great goals. Does this feel like a playoff game type, type of atmosphere? Yeah, obviously. Um, I think, you know, with knowing the stadium series is around the corner, you want to kind of build up to that. But um, like I said, right down the road, it's always going to be a close game. And, um, you know, it's been, you know, both times we played them, it's been tight. And, um, it was a fun game to play in. Yeah, what what scored the first goal? You guys seem like you put it down out of gear. Yeah, you know, I think anytime yeah. it's kind of a, a deadlock like that, and um, you know, when one goes through, it, it, it brings the the bench to life. What's the difference in the mindset between this year and last year with the shootout or with the overtime? Last year, you're hoping to win. This year, you're expecting to win. Yeah, I think it's it's just the belief we have in the room and, and the guys that we have, and we're all fighting for one another and. Um, you know, it's with who we have in this room, it could be anyone on any, any given night. So, um, like I said many times, they're fun games to play, and, um, you know, there's a lot of belief, and, and everyone's pulling in the same direction. What's it say? I mean, it's now a nine-game point streak. Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, obviously, I don't think anyone really expects us to, to be doing this well, but, um, you know, the guys in this room are, like I said, pulling in the same direction, and it's a lot of fun when you're winning. And, um, you know, we all want the, want the same end goal, and, um, like I said, there's just a lot of belief, and, and we don't quit until the game's over. What was the biggest difference between the week from a game from a few weeks ago and tonight? Yeah, I think they're both close games, so obviously I think they both went into overtime, but, um, you know, I think it's one's on the road, one's at home, and um, I think tonight was a little bit of a slower game in, in terms of just chances for and against, but, um, like I said, I think in the, open, in the third period it kind of opened up.